Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to generate QR code in Java using Zing library. Now, in this video, we are going to do the reverse of what we did in the last video. That means, in this video, we are going to read the QR code and we will get the text that is stored inside the QR code. Okay? What is the information inside the QR code? So, if you haven't seen that video, how to generate QR code in Java using Zing library, then you will get the video link in the top in the eye icon and also I am providing the link for that video in the description box. In the description, you will get the links for the courses that I am providing like GraphQL, Spring Boot, MongoDB, Java Messaging Service and RabbitMQ and many more. So, just check out those courses as well. Now, we are going to use the Zing library. So, these are the two dependencies that we added in the pom.xml in the previous video. Okay. So, this is required. Now, let's read the QR code. So, this is the class inside the try catch block. We are going to read the QR code. Now, to read the QR code, we first need to have the image, right? That is basically the QR code. So, in the previous video, we have created this QR code, right? So, this QR code contains text that is http www.infibus.com. Now, in the previous video as well, I told you, right, that it is not required that if you generate the QR code with Zing library, then you need to use the Zing library to read it. No. The QR code is common one, okay? Say, for example, you can go to Google, okay, and search for the QR code, go to the images tab, and here you will find many QR codes, okay? See, this is provided by Wikipedia. This is from kaspersky.com. You can download any of these images and use the code that we are going to write in this video. And you can see what text, what information this QR code is containing. Okay. You can go for it as well because QR code is common thing. Whatever library you use it, that doesn't matter. But whatever QR code you have, if it's a valid one, then with any library, you can read it. Okay. So, I am going to use this one only. That's what we created in the previous video and we know that it is containing the text that is infibus.com URL. Okay. So, we need this path. So, let's get started over here. So, this is the path of image, basically our QR code. And the image is jpg infibus.jpg. So, the first thing is we need to read this image from this path, right? So, let's have one object of buffered image. So, we will use the image io dot read new file input stream and we will provide this path. So, this is our QR code, okay? The image we have read. Now, we will use Zing library to read this QR code, okay? So, let's get started. We will create the object of binary bitmap class, okay? This is provided by the Zing library. Let's create the new object. And inside this, we need to pass the object of binarizer, okay? So, new hybrid binarizer. And here, we need to pass the image, okay? So, let me go to new line for the better. So, here we need to pass new object of buffered image and this one, buffered image luminance source, okay? And we will pass the buffered image that we have, okay? So, this is what we read right from this path. That is our object of buffered image. That's it. Now, we have this object, okay, bitmap. So, if you remember then while creating the QR code, okay, we used a multi-format writer. Now, here we are going to use multi-format reader to decode this QR code. So, here let's create new object of multi-format reader and call the decode method and pass the object of this binary bitmap. So, if you look at this decode method, then this will return the object of result. So,
let's import the zing result so we have decoded our qr code now this result class is providing one method that is text so which is basically we need to call okay so this is what we need to call and this will give us the information that this qr code is containing what is the text that is inside this particular qr code okay so let's run the program see we got the text right infibus.com so this is what we have used while creating this particular QR code in the previous video, right? And this is what we decoded now. Okay, so this is what reverse thing we did from the past video. We have the QR code, okay, that is a PNG or JPG file, whatever it is, and we decoded it, okay, using the multi format reader and we got the text what it is containing inside this particular QR code. While creating the QR code, we used a multi format writer. Here we used a multi format reader because we are reading the qr code and what we used in the previous video was multi format writer because there we were creating the qr code and what you can do you can download any of this uh, images right qr code in jpg or png format in your local machine download that image provide the path over here and whatever other code let it be like this and see what you are getting for each or for many okay whatever you want what text you are getting for the qr code you can download one you can download many whatever you want okay so this is you can do yourself so this will remain the same the path to the image you need to change accordingly so this is how you can read the qr code in java using zing library if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video. Till then, happy learning and happy coding.